till the second half and a capacity thousand. Nice to see those crowds getting better and better every week. Yes, it surely is. And this this was a big day, of course, uh, with, uh, as you say, the full house and, and all the festivities going on. And uh, I think, again, the Beaver fans uh, were coming out with some big expectations. And there's the first play from scrimmage for the Ducks, the fumble that kind of set the tone. Partly for the first half, they have to punt, and Ted Milburn's punt takes a bounce. It's down at the Oregon 45-yard line. Right, that was a good start for us offensively. And, of course, here's Pat Chafee on the first play and rips it up the middle for a nice game. And that's a sign of things to come for Pat Chafee. He had a big day. And uh, from there, we uh, will go to just one play later. It is Brian Taylor right, round right in for 27 yards in the first score of the ball game. That puts you up 7 to nothing. Brian can hardly contain himself. Literally, <laughs> there is almost out of the ballpark. Is, <laughs> But it was a great play, good blocking, of course, and once he got to the corner, there was no question. He's got good speed, and uh, it was a great start. And we'll pick it up on the next series for the Ducks. Nelson back to pass. Good coverage downfield as Esther Tualo drops Nelson for a loss of four. We'll watch that one again. That's one of three sacks on the day for you. Well, and I think while Nelson was in there, you know, we had good pressure in the first place, but I also think that he had a little more tendency to give up to the rush and wasn't quite as mobile as Brothers was later on. And from the Oregon State, 37, Milberg back to punt again. The Ducks get the ball back, though. Bruce Sanders called for running into the kicker. Oregon has a first down at the 22. Second and goal now from the six. Randy Wilhite tackled by Mike Matthews after a gain of just one yard. And then on third and goal, Ducks no more successful. Derek Lavelle around the right side, and Ray Giacomelli and a few others stop him for no gain. Very good defense on this play as we show it again. Tremendous pursuit. We have a lot of black jerseys around the ball. That's what you like to see. And again, that's somewhat set the tone defensively for you in the first half. They had good field position and able to stop him. Kirk Dennis, though, does get in the field goal. That makes it seven to three Beavers about halfway through the first quarter. Then Dennis with kickoff to Rob Thomas, and we'll see a nice return here by Rob. One of two for him on the day. That's right. Rob had two fine returns, almost breaking both of them. This one, he gets hemmed in over on the sideline. Really no place to go. He sort of ran out of real estate as we say but a very very good return getting us back to midfield and the beavers take over on second and ten chafee goes up the middle for six yards and that goes into oregon territory but the drive stalls at the 42 and wilhelm with a punt out of the fake punt formation well that's right and actually uh, eric had called for an audible that uh, would have been a pass but he was quick enough to to kick the football when the receiver was covered and that was lavelle's third straight carry on that drive, that uh, gives them a first down. Two plays later, it's LaBelle again going wide right, but Oregon State stops it for it. No gain. Calvin Nicholson in on that hit. We'll watch that one again. Once again, a lot of pursuit, and that's what defense is all about. You get enough people around the ball carrier, and uh, things will get taken care of. Really seems to you were able to close off the outside all game on them. That's right. Uh, the Beavers take over after an Oregon punt. Wilhelm chooses to run. On the play on a second and eight, he salvages three yards. The drive stalls, though. Mark Bennett comes in to punt. And uh, the nice punt, but it will go into the end zone for the touchback. Well, that's right. We had a strong wind behind us at that point, and we'd hoped to down that one, but it just got away from us. And Russell Lawson there up the middle for just one yard. Mike Matthews with a stop. And the first quarter closes with Ray Giacomelli knocking down Lavelle for no gain. And the Beavers up after the first quarter, 7-3. And we begin the second quarter. One full of turnovers here with a hit on Nelson. The Beavers recover his fumble at the one, but a costly offsides penalty nullifies that play. Yes, and I thought that was a real turning point in the game. Had we, uh, you know, gotten possession here at the one-yard line, I'm sure we could have, you know, stuck the ball in the end zone on four tries, and that, I think then we probably would have been off and running a little bit. And the Beaver defense looks to make up for the infraction. Watch the hit there by Andre Harris. Watch that one again, a big hit for Andre. Oh, tremendous. And, of course, Andre's that kind of football player. Just a picture tackle on that play, and, uh, and I know there's some force behind that that you can't see on the television screen. And there, Russell Lawson says hello to Tom Vetris, and Tom says hello back to uh, Russell there. And uh, Vetris had a big day, closed his career with nine tackles, and plugged the, plugged the middle real well. Well, he's had a great year. He's a tremendous competitor. Another tackle by Vetris on that play. And coming up, Lavelle will pick, uh, carry the ball one more time. Billy Hewley with a nice open field tackle. 
And as we see through the highlights of this game, Billy Huey had a very big day, too. He certainly did, and uh, he's a very emotional player and uh, has, gets involved a lot. That was Lance Jackson, a player that hasn't played a lot for us, but a 50-year senior, and it was nice to see him have a good day on Saturday. And the Ducks have to come in and punt, and as you will see, Reggie Hubbard has to backpedal, can't handle the punt, and the Ducks recover, and they are in business at the Beaver 19. But again, the defense responds. Billy Healy with a big hit the second, uh, on the second quarterback of the day, Bob Brothers in, and Mike Maggiore recovers it for the Beavers. Right, a very big play. Healy will see this again. Of course, he hits him before he gets a chance on a, on a corner blitz, and uh, Maggiore was right there to recover it, and that certainly was very, very timely. But coming up just two plays later, Eric Wilhelm back to pass. He misfires. Brett Young with the interception. Had to do a nice job to get that interception and keep his feet in, though. One play into the Oregon threat. Latin Berry gains two yards. And on the next play, we'll see nice coverage here by Calvin Nicholson in the end zone on Sam Archer. Yeah, it certainly was. He had great position, and uh, they didn't have a chance to complete that one. And the Ducks must settle for the field goal attempt. But this time, Kirk Dennis is wide. And that keeps the score at 7-3. to three. The Beavers take over at the 21. And there's Pat Chafee with the 8 of his 109 yards on the day. Well, Pat ran hard as he did so often this year. Now, this is a little flea flicker play that we, we thought we could take advantage of their safety. But uh, they had a blitz from the other side, and we couldn't get it off. So they just happened to have the right thing called. And this time, the Ducks were able to capitalize going into the end zone with Lavelle wide right. And that makes it 10 to 7 Ducks. Well, again, that was a very poor job by our defense on that particular play. And we'll see Rob Thomas here with his second nice kickoff return of the day. Right. He had a little trouble handling it, but uh, once he got underway, uh, almost broke it again. So he had two fine returns. I think the two returns netted him 64 yards. First and 10, Brian Taylor will go right left and gain 12 yards. He had, I believe, 61 yards rushing in the day. Yes, and Brian definitely got back into the flow of our offense, and I was glad to see him have a, a very fine final game. And we will watch that one again. The Beavers, though, have to punt. It's after stalling at their own 44, and Lavelle can muster just one yard on the first play of their drive. Tom Vetris there again. The Ducks punt on the fourth play of the Beaver effort. Chafee gains eight yards on the draw. Watch that one again, and... We've said this every week. He just plays hard. He runs hard. He's become a heck of a football player. Well, he really is. And a uh, good receiver coming out of the backfield. And we're certainly looking forward to having Pat back with us next year. And another punt. Oregon has the ball back in Beaver territory. Bob Brothers overthrows Terry Obi. Good coverage by Andre Harris. And a 64-yard field goal attempt as well. Short Eric Wilhelm with a big bend play. But that ends the half with the score. 10 to 7. And looking back at this half, down 10 to 7, but you're playing very well defensively once again. Uh, they were able to pressure Eric quite a bit trying to pass. Any adjustments you thought you had to make at halftime? Well, I don't, I don't think there was so much in the adjustments. We made a couple of adjustments defensively to make sure that we could play the option better in the second half, which we, of course, did. Uh, offensively, it was just a matter of trying to eliminate some mistakes, and uh, we decided that we'd go out and just run the football at him in the second half and, and see what we could do with that. Uh, it was a tough day for passing. You know, I think it would be easy to look at it and say we didn't throw well, we didn't get the ball to Thomas, we didn't get the ball to Ross, and things like that. But uh, the weather was a big factor. It was much tougher on the field, I think, than most people could realize. The strong wind blowing out of the south end, and uh, when you had it, uh, it affected the ball by carrying it a little bit too much. And when you didn't have it, of course, you were in the teeth of it, and certainly affected the kicking game. So we just uh, decided we had to go out and control the football uh, and play defense. And you know we, what I said at halftime was we can't give up any big plays. We've got to eliminate the stupid penalties because that's what they are when you uh, get the 15 yarders and uh, you know control the ball offensively. So uh, we really did what we set out to do in the second half. And I 